Sevender, uh, with the battle as it stands in Madhya Pradesh. Some exit polls, of course, are predicting an edge to Congress. Our exit poll is saying that there will be a BJP sweep. But what the Congress will want to ensure is that what played out in 2018 and post that uh, uh, will not happen now in 2023. Well, uh, the exit polls might have given a clear edge to the Bharati Janta Party, but the Congress Party has not given up yet. And they appear in no mood to give up till the last vote is counted. Yesterday I was outside the Congress office in Bhopal. They were putting up lights on the Congress building and they uh, are hoping that they would win. And once they win, they would be lighting up the building because it's been 20 long years that the Congress Party has been out of power in Madhya Pradesh. Whether that would happen or not remains to be seen counting is about to start in an hour's time from now and within a couple of hours time we'll be having the leads. Whether the Congress party is able to come back to power in 2018 of course the Congress party uh, got a swing of 5% votes in its favor. They got uh, 114 seats. The BJP also got a similar percentage of votes, but they were stuck at 109. But within 15 months, the Congress government was brought down. Jyotiradit Sindhya left the Congress party and joined the Bharatiya Janata Party and uh, BJP government was set up in Bhopal. Kamal Nath, the state Congress president, he has also went to the voters seeking some sort of revenge that his government, he was wrong, his government was brought down in a uh, wrongful manner. So all these things are there, but the Bharati Janata Party has uh, gone to the people with their Ladli Behena Yojana. 1,250 rupees have been transferred to the uh, bank accounts, direct cash transfer of 1.25 crore women, in fact more than that. So whether that vote uh, goes to the Bharati Janata Party and the Bharati Janata Party is able to uh, neutralize the you know, that's, of that's largely been deemed as a game changer, really, for the Shivraj Singh government and for the BJP's chances, really, about the Pradesh. But will that reflect it in the numbers? 8 a.m. counting begins. I mean, there's stay on with me. I want to move from Madhya Pradesh to Chhattisgarh. 90 seats up for grabs in Chhattisgarh. And this state could perhaps see the most interesting and closest contest. The reason I say that is because our exit poll has predicted that this is going to be a neck and neck fight with a wafer thin edge being given to the Congress. What do I mean by that? Look at the numbers of our exit poll. Now, the Congress is slightly ahead. The party is expected to secure about 48 of the 90 assembly seats. The BGP, on the other hand, may get 40. So you can see how close this particular contest is. Uh, all parties, of course, campaigned extensively. Their fates were locked in on November 7th and November 17th. Chhattisgarh had a two-phase polling uh, and today the results will be out. Of course, as is the case at every single state in Chhattisgarh too, all political parties have exuded confidence that they will win in the state. Eight. जो छत्तीसगढ़ में महादेव सट्टेबाजी घोटाला हुआ है उसमें 508 करोड़ रुपए से अधिक के बटने के आरोप है जांच एजेंसियों के छापों में रुपयों के ढेर पकड़े गए हैं यहां के मुख्यमंत्री के करीबी जेल में बंद है कांग्रेस के इन गणित बाजों को बताना होगा कि मुख्यमंत्री को इसमें कितना पैसा हिस्सा मिला है कांग्रेस के बाकी बाकी नेताओं के हिस्से में कितना माल गया है और दिल्ली दरबार तक इसमें से कितना माल पहुंचा है यहां विधानसभा उम्मीदवारों को टिकटों देने को लेकर कांग्रेस में जो खेल हुआ है उसके तो ऑडियो चल रहे हैं एक एक टिकट बेचकर कांग्रेस के नेताओं ने कितने पैसे ऊपर तक पहुंचाए हैं इसका सच भी जनता के सामने आना चाहिए सो वी हैव सीन एन इंटेंस कैंपेन इन छत्तीसगढ़ मध्य प्रदेश राजस्थान एज वेल एज हियर इन तेलंगाना